This video shows you how Keytech PLM integrates with CATIA v5. It will give you an idea of how transparent and efficient data management can be for 3D CAD systems like CATIA. Let's start by searching the database for a CATIA product. Use the Query Designer to enter your criteria. The results of the search are shown immediately. You can also use the full text search capabilities just by typing a phrase into the search box. This will conduct a search through many fields at a time and the file content. The results are shown as a list but can be switched to different views. For example, you can choose the carousel or thumbnail view. Selecting one entry from the list shows all the information about the product, including the metadata of the model, information on the current status of a project, and the structure with all its components. Before I start editing, I will create a new ECO for this. If data dictionaries are set up, these will provide support when you are filling in the form. Later, all new designs and design changes related to this new ECO can be found. I will need this component several times, so I add it to my favourites. Let's focus on the lever arm and see where this part is used before loading it into CATIA. The window shows all relations to the drawing, parent assemblies or linked item information. Again, we can use the context functions to learn more about our part. For example, we can look at the history of this part. If you think you will access this model many times, add it to your favourites. From every view, you can directly open the model in CATIA. Add the drawing if you want to work on both at the same time. My variant of this part will not have these cutouts. and I need to change this dimension from 42 to 44. The linked drawing is updated automatically. Let's store this back into Keytech. First, Keytech provides a view of the structure to be stored and shows all components that were either new or changed during the session. The user decides whether to create a new item number for the model or a new revision. I decide to go on with a new item number for this part. At this point I can start to fill in the metadata for the new item. Data dictionaries support this process. A dynamic data dictionary 
lets you store new items in the correct context, for example, in the context of our newly created ECO. Click Store and all components are stored back to the secured Keytech Vault. The result in Keytech is shown. The new item with two CATIA models, first the CATIA part and second the related CATIA drawing, both in status work, are now available. Let's take a look at the drawing. All title block information is filled in automatically using Keytech item and document data. The user does not need to worry about file locations and file naming. Keytech always ensures that model file names and all their references are consistent. Let's go back to the CATIA product tensioner. Let's load the structure using the option Latest Revisions to make sure we are always working on the current status of the product. Keytech provides all components from the secured vault and opens the product in CATIA. In my product, I need to switch to the new variant of the lever arm. Using the store structure function, all components are stored back to the secured Keytech vault. For this product, I decide to create a new revision. Keytech displays the result. The new revision of the tensioner in status work is now available. Of course, all revisions of a product can be accessed. Opening the structure of different revisions lets you explore the differences. At this point, a product and its components can be processed using a defined workflow. If I want to set this new product revision to be released, it can be done with one click for the complete structure, including all components. Old revisions are automatically set to status archive to make sure that there is only one released revision at a time. Automated notification can be set so that everyone is informed. Neutral file formats like PDF, STEP or IGES can be processed automatically as part of the workflow. These file formats are now available for manufacturing and post-processing to all departments. Finally, the CATIA integration provides an updated bill of materials whenever a product is changed. You can see our new component, lever arm, has automatically become part of this bill of materials. It can be transferred directly to your ERP system using Keytech ERP servers. In Keytech, it is not only CATIA components with their history and product structure that you can manage. All other document types like Office, PDF, etc. can also be handled by Keytech. Keytech provides all product information with its history and all related data, both product related and process related, as shown in this ECO structure. See more videos to learn more about Keytech PLM.